Hello students, welcome back to 5 minutes clips. Today we will uh, see about basic substitution cycle. This topic is common to mechanical, civil and architecture because this is basic idea. Okay, So we can go inside and we will discuss about our today's topic. So this is vapor compression refrigeration cycle. Here you can identify that we have one compressor, then we have one condenser, expansion valve, and evaporator. These are all the four components which is used in vapor compression cycle. So this cycle is used in our household refrigerator. The compressor which we are using in our household refrigeration is hermetically sealed compressor normally you may see the compressor in the painting application or pumping applications etc um, but if you switch on those bulky compressor a loud noise will come which is making uncomfortable but in your uh, household refrigerator we are using this hermetically sealed compressor so we will not get maximum noise so that only whether day or night without or very very minimal noise it's operating okay so uh, what is the function of compressor compressor can compress the air not the liquid right if it is liquid means that's called pump make sure it so compressor going to compress the yeah but here we are using refrigerant so it going to compress the refrigerant refrigerant may be in superheater or it may be in light bed however whatever it may be it going to compress it okay so let us take one small example if you are going to fill the air in your cycle if you are putting pump up and down for two seconds the surface of the pump will not be heat if you are continuously working for five minutes you can't touch the surface it became so heat and if you see in the output of the air that also be in high temperature when compared to inlet so similarly the same thing going to happen here also so the output of the compressor having higher temperature when compared to the input so that in the diagram is clearly showing that it's in red color okay if you see the difference between point 1 to 2 you can easily identify it. point 1 in blue color that is in less temperature and point 2 is in red color that means higher temperature so immediately it will pass through the condenser if you see in your refrigerator backside there is some coils will be there that's a condenser so what is the function of condenser condenser is like a heat exchanger only heat going to exchange okay so after the compression we have, uh, the refrigerant which is in gas states in high temperature we need low pressure low temperature refrigerant so in order to reduce the temperature it should pass through the condenser condenser some cooling water will come inside and it will carry the heat from the refrigerant then it will go out as a high temperature liquid so the refrigerant it will give all its uh, temperature which are uh, to the cooling water so it became cool so in this condenser phase transformation is going to take place since output of the compressor is highly heated or T max of the gas so the gas will lose this te high temperature it became cool down so it will condense okay so got the meaning of condenser you know the concept then so that it will uh, next it will pass to the expansion wall I told you we need low pressure low temperature refrigerant okay so after the compression it is in high pressure we need to reduce the pressure so that we are using expansion wall in the expansion wall if you open the expansion wall the air highly compressed air free to expand through this expansion process it will lose the kinetic energy and it will become so cold if you want to know how it is just go to your laboratory switch on the compressor fill the air then open the vent just put your finger on it you will easily figure it out and uh, you can see some water tablets are trying to generate on your fingertip it's a simple example if you want you can go and try so, um, next after passing through the expansion wall the air is freely expand low pressure it is passed through the evaporator evaporator is the 
again <laughs> like a heat exchanger just opposite version of condenser okay so in evaporator in our refrigerator fridge where we are keeping our food items or any other storage products so what happen in this evaporator heat from the stored food will be taken by the refrigerant it's indirectly sometimes contact sometimes it is non contact type okay and then the he mutually heat exchange is taking place so what will happen the height the temperature of the food is absorbed by the refrigerant then it will became a so, uh, little bit higher temperature when compared to the inlet so inlet of four is less temperature but outlet of the uh, evaporator that is point number one is high temperature when compared to four so this cycle is in closed cycle it will continue it will continue yeah now let us see the pressure and enthalpy diagram let us make one small graph x axis enthalpy y axis pressure okay and now we have uh, compressor condenser expansion valve and evaporator let me go and please first i am taking one small point which is as a normal temp normal or input values right then i am giving the mark so this process is showing the compressor from the normal temperature or normal level it going to compress the air to higher level so the pressure is automatically going to increase second the, the upcoming one is the condenser where pressure is constant there is no pressure drop but what about the temperature temperature is going to increase so it will be also going to decrease the next one it crossing the pressure point so i want to make make one mark so i made one more horizontal line the last one is uh, uh, expansion valve process again pressure is going to decrease so the pressure is dropped from high to low air then horizontally we have the points 4 to 1 is the evaporator process okay then give the names and give the pressure points now you are easily construct the pressure and the albi diagram for the vapor compression cycle so we have some additional accessories so that everyone will get full concept next one we have to mark the silent points of enthalpy right h1 h2 and h3 and h4 h4 i have marked it but h3 and h4 both will be in the single point right so whatever the equipment it may be we should know what is the efficiency efficiency is nothing but output to input so what is the output here 4 to 1 operator i told you where we are keeping our product in order to save for the product so that is the output so what is the input the compressor where we are giving the uh, work input right so find out what is efficiency efficiency output by input most of the problems let us put 4 1 divided by 1 2 you will get or you check which temperature is high so it will be it will be very easy to identify by using this simple concept and simple formula